And on the side of the chairs was a box that said free dining room table and chairs. So I'm getting it for free. So I've earned 370 for sure. I could possibly earn about 575. Hey everyone, good morning. Welcome back to a new video. Today is going to be part two of the trash to cash series, I guess, <laughs> um, where I am trying to earn a thousand dollars for the month of November to go towards Christmas. So I already shared part one. Make sure you check it out below if you haven't watched it yet. In that video, I found a chair on the side of the road, cleaned it up, listed it, made a profit. I also um, found a coffee table that I did a quick makeover on. I have that listed. I have a mirror listed and um, I sold a couple like farmhouse signs that I had on hand that I probably would never use again and So far I've made $80. I haven't sold the coffee table or the mirror. I have pretty good faith that I'll sell those though um, within a couple days. I'm getting a lot of interest on them But no one is like solid. It's really hard um to know if people are serious or not because they'll just be like, hey, are you interested? Or hey, is it still available? And then you respond and then they ghost you. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I made $85 and today I'm going out yard selling. I'm gonna go see if I can find anything to make a quick profit on. Um, I do have a budget, of course, because what I'm trying to do is only use the money that I've already earned. So I'm not actually spending any of my money. Um, and I am, a little nervous. I don't even know if I'm gonna find anything. We'll see. All right, y'all. So let's go see if we can make some money today. Alright, quick update on sales. So, the last yard sale I stopped at was a pretty good sale. Um, there was a lot of good stuff, but nothing I was necessarily looking for. So, we're going to head off to the next one. Okay, so this yard sale had a lot of clothes. If you're ever looking for clothes, make sure you come check out yard sales because you can get some good deals. Everything was like a dollar, two dollars um, for like denim and stuff. And I feel like that's such a good deal, especially today, like when clothes are ridiculous. <laughs> wow, this is a gorgeous house once again. <laughs> Lots of good stuff, but nothing I'm looking for. Uh, I feel like I'm not gonna have any luck today, but that's all right. Patience is key. Um, there was like this wooden tray and I almost got it, but she wanted $5 for it. And I was basically going to, if it was like two or a dollar or two dollars, I think it'd be a good idea because I could easily paint it, flip it, sell it for like 10 bucks. Oh my gosh, did y'all see that? That bird almost got me. <laughs> um, but, okay, so, yeah, like I said, I'm not really finding anything. Ah, my hair is stuck in my purse. This happens all the time. 
Oh, I'm so tender headed. I need a clip. I forgot to bring a clip and a hair tie. So I'm just like, and that guy watched me vlog that whole <laughs> I don't know why I still get embarrassed from vlogging. I hit the jackpot. I was headed back from the yard sale just now and this woman was putting dining room chairs out by the road and on the side of the chairs there was a box that said free dining room table and chairs so I'm getting it for free. Um, she asked me if I like resold furniture and I was like yeah, yeah I refurbish and resell and she's like oh perfect. <laughs> um, I'm looking for a hair tie because I'm getting hot and I have no hair tie with me. Okay, I went from looking decent to looking real rough real quick. <laughs> I'm sweating so bad. That table is so heavy and then I scratched the top. <sighs> I'm trying to get it in the back of the truck by myself. Well, not by myself, the guy was helping, but um, I was trying to like maneuver everything to fit and I scratched it. I'll have to fix it, but quick, easy profit on that. Y'all, I think I might hit my thousand dollar bud or um, cash goal. Y'all, I just walked into a clean house. How nice. It looks so nice. Hello, honey bun. I can't pet you. Got my hands full. Hello. Hi, Zoe. All right. So we are home. Dylan helped me unload all of the stuff. Um, I actually had to run to Lowe's. I had to grab some new sandpaper because my sander, I've like ate up all my other sandpaper. Yep, that's exactly right. Okay, I hope you can hear me. The wind's kind of picking up a bit. But my husband um, helped me unload everything. So here's the table. I love it. Love it, love it. I cannot believe I got this for free. It's beautiful. And she also gave me this, which is pretty stinking cool. And it's worth a lot of money. It's a brass um, sailboat. And it is signed as well. It's so pretty. I looked it up on um, online and they're going for like $800, which is insane. But but um, I also got this little cabinet over here. I'll show you guys this. So I paid $3 for this. It was listed for five, but it does have a pretty large crack right here. So I'm gonna do my best to fill it and um, hopefully fix her up and get a little makeover done on this. And I mean, I'm sure I'll sell it for like at least $20. So yeah, super cute though. I really love it a lot. I love how it has like the multiple handles. I think it's adorable. Also, can't forget, I got a bowl <laughs> for a dollar. Couldn't beat it, little bowl. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and work on this small little end table that I got. I actually only paid $3 for it. It was listed for five. I did talk her down a bit. Um, I obviously knew she was wanting to get rid of it because it had a pretty large crack here on this one drawer. So I took off the hardware and I did try to go ahead and wood fill this real fast, but this did not work. I tried wood filler. I also tried adding spackling at one point. I even tried adding some sawdust to the spackling, sawdust to the wood filler. I tried multiple different products and ultimately nothing really worked that great at filling the holes. I I feel like I did so much research and every furniture flipper always does such a good job at filling holes. And a lot of times they use Bondo, which unfortunately our stores near us do not sell that. I would have to order it online and the earliest shipping was like two days out, so which isn't that long, but I'm trying to flip these items as quickly as possible. So I tried my best to fill it and make it look as good as I could. I then went in with the color Pajmina by Benjamin Moore. I have had this paint on hand from my bedroom makeover that I did, so I'm just gonna paint the entire dress, or I almost called it a dresser, in table using that pashmina color. Now, I, I think I already mentioned this, but I did sand down the entire end table first, and then this pashmina color I'm using is actually in a flat finish, so it works very similar to the way that chalk paint works. It adheres well to the surface, and I do seal it well in the end, so that is the reason I chose not to use primer. It's totally optional. Do whatever you wanna do for your furniture piece.
After painting the piece of furniture with two coats of paint and letting it fully dry for 24 hours, I'm now going in with polycrylic to seal my furniture. I love this product. I use it all the time. The finish I'm using today is a matte finish. And I actually love the matte finish over all the finishes. I feel like it's not 100% matte, by the way. It has a little sheen to it. Um, but I, I love furniture that's not like super glossy. So I feel like this worked really well for this piece. And as you can see, I'm going in the same direction with the polycrylic, making sure to get any of those drips and runs off the edges so that way everything looks really nice and smooth. I start with a thin coat and then I just kind of work my way up to thicker coats. Here is that side table that I just redid. I got this for $3 at a yard sale, um, and I just did a quick paint job on it with paint I already had on hand, used the original hardware. There was a pretty bad mark right here, but it's still in pretty decent condition, and for $3, a quick flip. Hopefully I can earn a little bit off of it. We'll see. Um, I, I was gonna go out today and look for some more stuff, but I feel that I need to get rid of the stuff that I have currently um, but then I had someone a couple of you in my comments of my last video that were like if you can hold on to the items for a week or so because you will sell them it's just patience is key and it's hard because I don't like to have a lot of clutter and we've been trying to declutter the house since it is small and I just made my whole little workout space and now it's like crammed with furniture but you know, the sacrifices you make for Christmas cash <laughs> so we'll see but um, I'm gonna run out get these returns done and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in just a bit. All right, y'all wanna see a parking lot haul on the stuff that I got for my daughter's friend, her friend's birthday. Um, so first off, I got the Play-Doh Slime. Every kid loves slime. So I got that. I got the LED disco ball projector with sound activation. So I'm assuming, um, so you hang it like on the wall and it like projects little lights I don't know maybe it like turns on with sound or maybe it like moves with the sound I don't know <laughs> I have to read the instructions I'm gonna have to get batteries that was super cool she's getting a makeover done on her room for her birthday so I thought this would be a fun little addition she's obsessed with Barbie what little girl is it so I found this little uh, Barbie cocoa and mug set this was $12.99 um, I thought so cute she's gonna absolutely love this so I got her that and then I got a pack of necklaces and earrings and I didn't realize it till I got in the car. This is on clearance um, and no wonder it was on clearance, it's missing an earring. But thank goodness I bought an extra one to go as a stocking stuffer. So I'll just borrow the earrings from that one and stick it on this one until I can find new earrings. But it, it is what it is, it happens. <laughs> Accident. Um, and then I did get a karaoke night microphone speaker to go along with the little disco ball. And little party i think it'll be a nice little gift throw all that in a bag let the kids make some handmade little notes and things and great little birthday gift so that's what i ended up getting for her um i think she's gonna love it 
I have an update for you guys. I'm really excited about this update because I'm gonna share with you how much money I've made so far. I've actually started to kind of accumulate, um, you know, quite a bit, so it's exciting. I feel like for a little bit there, it was just kind of slow and nothing was really happening and it was kind of discouraging to be honest, but we got some things sold and I'll be chatting about that. But first, we're gonna go lo load up this mirror because it's selling today. y'all so i just sold that big antique mirror for 190 dollars absolutely love it and honestly i feel like that was a great price considering where i live i have had that mirror listed for um actually since the beginning of the month so for two weeks now and um the the best offer i have gotten so far is 190 i had it listed for 250 originally and nobody i mean nobody was willing to pay that much i had low balls as low as 100 i had 120s i had 150s um but then i lowered the price down just a little under 200 i went for 190 and i found a buyer she did ask me to hold it for an entire week and i took a chance and i did not a whole week i think she told me last thurs thursday yeah, Thursday. She asked me if I could hold it till Monday. And then I was like, you know what? Mm, I was a little nervous because this always happens to me. Like I will be nice and hold something and then people won't show up. But I was like, you know what? Let me just trust it. So I held it till Monday and then she came back with possibly Tuesday. So then I was like, okay, well, Tuesday's the latest I can hold it. And turns out she was such a nice person. Oh my gosh, I'm so thankful that it went to her. She's redoing her bedroom. She's gonna use it above her um, dresser. So it just worked out great for her. And I'm happy, you know, that she was able to come get it. And she drove an hour and a half to come buy it. So awesome, awesome. Um, so at this point so far, I have made a total of $390. So that's not too bad. Hey, that, I can I can live with that. <laughs> I did sell the end table for twenty dollars. I listed it originally for twenty five. The lady came and got it yesterday, and she already texted me this morning and said that the table worked out perfect and she loves it. So, super happy about that. Um, and yeah, I mean, this has been a little fun experience. Can I just say that you seriously meet some really really great people when you are selling furniture? Not always. Not always. Some people are, you know. A little out there i'm not trying to be mean <laughs> just being honest but like this woman today or yesterday that came and bought the end table she just messaged me and i told you guys that she loved the end table and she, it worked perfect and then she just asked me um if i she asked me about a piece of furniture and just to keep an eye out for it and let her know if i find anything um and i told her i had this buffet that i'm going to be redoing and i asked if she'd like me to send her pictures when it's done and she was like yeah absolutely and it's just awesome you know how you can just like kind of get in touch with people like that that are looking to buy things from you that you're flipping and it's just pretty cool pretty pretty cool so she was so sweet um and i'm excited to get that buffet done now it makes me like you know kind of like puts um not a timeline on it but just like a little emphasis on hey you know now i want to finish the buffets so just so i can even just send her a picture even if she don't really like it why am i white as a ghost <laughs> this like camera man i'm telling you y'all if y'all film, if any of you guys are YouTubers um, or just content creators, not even YouTubers, you could be Instagram or whatever, um, and you have good camera suggestions for filming, let me know because I've had so many issues with my camera recently, being blurry, um, being too bright, <laughs> like just now, or sometimes um, she just doesn't record and I'm like sitting here thinking I'm recording and I'm not. So I don't know, I don't know what's happening, but I do need to get a new camera and I desperately need to clean this house. So I'm gonna work on that. Um, I have an appointment tomorrow. They're actually coming to the house, which is super weird for me. I have never had a doctor's appointment in my house. Um, I think that's gonna be really interesting. <laughs> I'm excited. I don't think Zoe's excited. So, I know this is not part of this challenge, but I, <laughs> yesterday, or was it yesterday or the day before yesterday? I can't remember what day it was. I was on my treadmill walking and I like, I create playlist, like music playlists for different moods that I'm in. So I have like my in my feelings moods, I have my like hip hop wanna dance moods, and then I have like my country slow, just kinda wanna cry moods. The happy go lucky country, I have like different types of music that i listen to when i'm working out and i came across this song by uh i think it's 
oh gosh, I don't want to butcher this. Um, hold on, I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> there it is. Okay, it's called Malcolmore. Did I say that right? And Ryan Lewis. It's called Thrift Shop. <laughs> and I don't know why I'm giggling. This is funny. So it's a very, very bad word song. So don't listen around like your kids or anything like that. But um. He's talking about, I got $20 in my pocket. I'm going to pop some tags. Like, oh my God. It just cracked me up. I was literally, I couldn't even walk. I was laughing so hard at this song. And it makes me want to create an Instagram reel with a song in the background showing what I, like an outfit for 20 bucks from the thrift store. Like, I don't know why, but that's like on my mind. Ever since I listened to the, the song on the treadmill, I'm like, I really want to go thrifting and find like a Christmas outfit. Or thanks, not Christmas, like a Thanksgiving or Christmas holiday outfit for $20 and make an Instagram reel out of it. I think it'd be freaking genius and hilarious because I love that song and it, it's funny. So, I don't know, maybe I should do that. Maybe not. I'm trying not to spend the money I just made. But it would also create content too. So, I don't know. I don't know if I should. I'm probably going to do it. I'm probably going to do it because I just, my creative wheels are spinning and sometimes like whenever that happens and I just go for it, it just kind of opens up more creative wheels, you know? So I may do that. I got to finish my coffee though because I'm still tired. So yesterday, um, Dylan got home late. He was working on a side job and we sat down, I sat down with him so he could have dinner and I happened to just out of the corner of my eye notice that the baseboard looked funny. So we used, I used MDF board around the closet door to keep it really affordable when I trimmed it out. And MDF board will swell if it gets wet. And sure enough, it looked out of shape and swollen. <laughs> and it was wet. Um, our HVAC started leaking. Um, all the condensation, I don't know, something's going on. It's just pouring into the house instead of going outside. We've had this issue in the past. We had it, you know, fixed, but it's just when you have a house, you know, things pile up and it's just one of those things. It's like, it sucks because I feel like we've been working so, you know how like when you're doing really good and then it's just one thing after another. So yeah, but it's okay. We're gonna get through it. We always do. We have the guy coming out tomorrow. Um, we have no AC at the moment, but thank goodness this happened when it's cool out. So it's not too hot in here. Um, the AC was running all day yesterday and um, it kept it cool in here. Right now it's nice. I've tried to keep the blinds shut to just kind of keep the air in and all the heat out as much as I can. But yeah, getting that done tomorrow. Um, but in the meantime, I'm gonna keep hunting for free stuff <laughs> and try to sell the things I have first, I think, but we'll see. Um, but anyway, I have to go. I gotta go pick up my kiddos from school. It's an early release day today and we're gonna have an awesome weekend. We have lots of plans. We're going to a huge like antique um flea market with our neighbors and we are also going to my daughter's friend's birthday party so lots of fun stuff going on i will be busy all weekend so i won't be filming but well i can't say i won't be filming i may share on my instagram the thrift store the thrift market that we're going to so make sure you're following my instagram it's carrie lynn underscore underscore I'll have it linked below as well. But thank you guys for being here. I hope you're enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying sharing and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.